what's up and welcome back to the channel you are listening to ninja knight make sure you like share subscribe hit the notification bell up above for future uploads check out the links posted in the description down below to support the channel and consider joining the channel today thank you so over the weekend god of war and god of war ragnarok trended on twitter a lot of people were unhappy with the fact that they decided to make anger boda a character that is from norse mythology who we would assume and has been depicted as white in the past they decided the game developers that is decided to make her black instead of you know using say african goddesses african gods african myths african legends you know what i'm saying this is something they could have done but decided not to do in this world that kratos is in that is met with other gods from different places this is exactly what they could have done they could have actually set up another arc in future but they decided not to do that what i want to focus on today though is thor now when i first seen this image i thought this was a vault stag given the fact that it's a returned character and you know i think he would be fairly fairly forgiven i think if you thought that this was vault stag instead of thor this does not scream thor to me Particularly because you have what should be his pectoral muscles. Instead it looks very flabby and a big round stomach here protruding from his armour. If this had been covered up by armour I don't think people would have been as harsh on this design as they were. What's really weird about this is it seems like the game designers have taken cues from the MCU Marvel Studios from Avengers Endgame. When they decided to make Thor fat due to him being in the depression. And then they decided to leave him fat when he had Stormbreaker and Melonier because the Russos and Kevin Foye thought it'd be funny. So that's where we're at now with these type of people. We're at this sort of, I suppose, crossroads where these people think that this is funny and they think that this is what's going to be in people's minds. Hey, Thor was fat in Endgame. That's what they remember. Let's put it in here and see if people will pick up the game due to that. It seems a very strange thing to do. Now you've had a couple of weirdos that are on Twitter that are out there that are saying well strong men look like this and that's what they based it off of. Yeah of course because as we're going to see later on they're totally wrong given the fact that there's someone that's actually intimately involved with this game that pretty much confirms otherwise. But anyway weirdo's going to weirdo. So as we can see here he has himself exposed to some degree but he has long hair and a long beard. Now red haired character have been treated like this i'm not shocked to be honest given the fact that hollywood seemingly do not like red haired characters over the last couple of years it doesn't surprise me whatsoever what does surprise me however is this is the man that's actually playing the character who is called ryan horst most people might know him from the walking dead others like myself will know him as opie from sons of anarchy where he turned in a fantastic performance and he has been in a litany of other different productions over the last couple of years i think he's a very good and capable actor and like i said i think he was phenomenal as opie when you're looking at him here though as you can see he's in good shape he actually quite looks like thor and the fact that he is a very tall man in person would actually also say then they could have just put this guy into the game giving them the hammer and it would be in happy days why do i say that well anger boda who is in this game is actually exactly like the lady who plays her in real life which is very weird now as you can see here i haven't tagged ryan i haven't tagged god of war i haven't tagged any of the studios and i have three likes on it here when i seen this today now i thought that this was really weird so ryan horst himself who has 588k followers liked my tweet now, what does this say to me? Now, what I'm going to say is this. If Ryan would like to come on to the show and talk about this maybe at length, I would absolutely 100% love that. That would be fantastic to hear from him if he'd be interested in talking about it, what the process was of him auditioning for Thor, what he was promised, and what the end result looks like, which it seems like he's dissatisfied with this end result, as many of us are. So I think it's great to see Ryan interacting with a fan like me and interacting with a tweet like this where, you know, I am dissatisfied with this look and it seems like he is too. I'd love to hear more from him. So I think that that's really interesting to see that the actor who is playing this character seemingly doesn't like the way it's been depicted. I personally don't like the way it's been depicted. I think it could have been depicted way better in my view. I think maybe the actor was given the vision. I think maybe he was perhaps even doing mocap for this character which i assume he is doing because a lot of the other actors do that within these games and then the fact that he's providing the voice i'd assume that he was given some sort of early design or early sort of concept sketch artist sort of stuff and maybe had a, a good idea as to yeah i'm signing on to this and now he's seeing this as an end result 
I'm sure he feels just as we do, which is disappointed with this end result. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with people and just show that, you know, it seems like that whilst fans are unhappy with these design choices, it seems like the people that are actually intimately working within these games are unhappy with this design choice also, which I think is great to see and I'd love to see him talking about that more publicly. I do hope that he is going to talk about it more publicly and say, like, hey, I was actually told this was what the character was going to look like, this is what it's ended up looking like, I'm not very happy about that. Rather than doing, say, for example, what Mark Hamill did, which was go and say, I'm not happy with Luke Skywalker, and then ended up turning around and saying, I'm actually delighted with Luke Skywalker. It's it's disingenuous, you know what I'm saying? So I do hope that he comes out and says, hey, look, I was promised something a little bit different. It's ended up, it's not been the way I thought it was going to be. Sorry about that. I'm hoping that they can change the skin or maybe they might make some alterations closer to the release date, which is what I hope they do. I hope that the developers do something about this and say, okay, we need to change this up. Fans aren't happy with this design. The guy who's playing the character isn't happy with the design and something needs to be done about that. That's my view. Anyway, I'm going to leave the video there. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell up above for future uploads. Check out the links posted in the description down below to support this channel. And I'll talk to you later. Good luck. Due to the limited amount of information on this platform, make sure you follow me over here on Odyssey. It's available on web browser, it's available on iOS, and it's soon to be available on Android. I'm also available over here on Rumble at Ninja Knight. So if you'd like to follow me over there, do so now. Thank you and good luck.